changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the red menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins.
tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. Sir, I've got uh, my I'm own gonna, mission out gone. there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer, signing off. Instrumental to the rebuilding of America, one tetless and using rusty shack at a time. Some may call them jobs, but I like to think of them as perks. <laughs> 